Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. I'm leaving the option for my services at 50% off for the first year open and I'll be providing further details after the clip ends. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll be talking to you again at the end of the uh, clip. I would like you also to read carefully the disclaimer that I'm going to put up now so that uh, it is clear to you before you uh, go ahead and watch the video. This is uh, just a standard thing. This is uh, the chart of uh, spot silver priced in US dollars. That's the hourly scale. I do not see the precious metals ready to run higher right away. I think that there is uh, more correction coming. I've examined uh, the precious metals not just in uh, US dollars, but I looked at various other currencies and I looked at uh, major gold and silver producers. There are just a few cases where I saw a possible pattern that may have terminated uh, on Friday and that would call for uh, immediate resumption of the uptrend. But I found many more cases where it looks fairly uh, clear that uh, they haven't finished with the business of going sideways. And right now what we are seeing here in the case of silver, even if I go for the quickest version, if you like, of uh, potentially uh, a triangle that found an end or is about to find an end um, I can't go very far because I think that there is still more work done here needs to be done here do you see that's an A that's a B I can't see what else I can do with this jump that went above this level there is no five wave run from here there is no five wave run you can't uh, say that the fourth wave ended here or even here and that's your wave one that's your wave two that's impossible because you clearly have an ABC right here in fact you have more than ABC you have uh, uh, potentially a very complex structure of various a ABCs ABC ABC and uh, this could be even composed of several ABCs or that's an A that's a B that's a C in short no five legs so forget it, it didn't end here. Now, if it ended here, it's been canceled because it went under the level here. Once the movement down goes through what you assume to have been at the E leg, that's no, more, uh, uh, no longer the case. So that also doesn't work. It didn't end here, nor did it end here. So where are we going? Well, it seems like we must put the B right here. And the decline so far appears to me to be very corrective. And uh, it's composed of several ABCs. When you look at the uh, 15 minute scale, it's full of overlapping areas. Do you see right here overlapping areas? And I find it difficult to put a neat a five way structure on what I see here. So I go for the next best, if you like. Uh, that is a composition of A, B, C, X, A, B, C that may have found an end here or even here. And I think that now it, there, is a, there is a chance that it's going to rally. I think that it is going to find it difficult to sit above 28 even. Yes, I, I think that will be news. It will surprise me. If it goes to sit, uh, let me show you if it goes to sit there. Okay, I think what will happen... There is quite a lot of resistance right here between 28 to 2820 and I think it's going to come down. I will not be surprised if it's not going to even get there. It's going to muddle through 
here for uh, two, three days and it's going to come down again. Because what I think is going on when you will see the chart of gold and other charts of the precious metals, you will see that I don't think that the C even ended here. That silver uh, on the two hour scale. In fact, I think what's going to happen is this. It's going to come down in this manner. Uh, that was UA, that was UB, that is probably UA of the C, yeah, composed of ABCX, ABC, and it's going to give you now a B. After that, it's going to come even lower. Yeah, it could come to 25, 24 and a half. There is a lot of support at this zone. I do not, I do not expect at this point a washout all the way down there. No, I don't see really a case for this in all the charts that I've examined of the precious metals. So I feel comfortable telling you prepare for potentially further decline, but nothing terribly dramatic. And uh, essentially going sideways for a few more weeks. Okay, you realize that by the time you get these legs, we're going to spend quite a lot of time here. Yes, before silver is ready to continue with the uptrend. Now here's the chart of gold, that's spot gold price in US dollars, that's the 4 hour scale and you can already see that I prepared the alternative scenario right here. We had this as an A, no problem, that's a B, no problem. Is that a C, D, E complete right here? Maybe, doesn't look to me to be the case. Is it possible we are going to jump for a slight B right here that will be uh, finding resistance at uh, 1960 and then come down drifting lower towards the base right here 1900 1920 and then we are ready to run higher well this is possible in the case of uh, the chart of gold yeah this option is uh, possible but i definitely don't see this right now as a extremely high um, probability scenario that this is the end of the e and it's ready to go down you know i'm wrong of course if it manages to run above this level yes that comes at 1992 sitting above this level is a sign of strength 1960 you should watch that if you are watching uh, gold carefully there's also obviously another um, uh, this is a zone of resistance right here the top of this is coming at 1973 the, in a nutshell, my idea is that gold has also a lot of work to do here going sideways and that's not going to be over in, in one week. No, it's not going to be over in one week. Imagine if this reading is correct, that that's an A, that's a B, that's going to be the end of UC. You still have the D and the E. And I think that this support right here would play absolutely critical role yeah cardinal role in uh, really holding holding the entire bullish uh, structure here uh, that comes again the 1900 to 1920 so that's what i think currently concerning uh, spot gold we'll see it now in different currencies look this is gold priced in yen and i am sure that those who have been with my server for quite a while with my service and have seen this chart do remember how I went on and on and on about the, uh, the preparation that we had the long long preparation that's the monthly I'm certain you remember that I've been going on and on about this do you remember that yeah, this is uh, 2013 and this is uh, 2018. It went on for a while and we got some fantastic fourth wave here. By the way, this fourth wave also appears in uh, gold price in the Indian rupee, for example. There is a fantastic fourth wave there, huge fourth wave. And evidently what we have here is the breakout, which is a huge fifth wave on this scale, of which, to the best of my knowledge, we have seen one. We have seen two and now we are in a huge third wave on the uh, blue scale. This chart looks very clear. Okay, it's got very good proportions. It is, um, it is looking just right. Okay, so that's the monthly and uh, that is now the weekly with a one, two, three clear fourth wave here and then one, two, three, four, five 
and then swing down give us that correction second wave being well supported by the upsloping line here and back again with a rally okay and right now this is the best option that i see at this point that that's a one two we are done with the third and we are now busy tracing the fourth wave um, that's the weekly let's go now and see the daily now some of you would say this looks like a perfect uh, fourth wave complete yeah with an a b c d e it's uh, coming close to the 50 moving average it's ready to run yes could be i did not say it is impossible uh, running above this level will probably say those who interpret it in this way are right yes uh, but right now let me jump to the 60 minutes and show you what's been going on here on the 60 minute scale and why i think that there's going to be a prolongation also here with this being one two one two three four three four five you got five waves if, if this interpretation is correct you're going to have now a bounce in gold or at least sideways price action and then another five waves and then you get to get you a b c okay do you see that's the way i would go about it this tells me that there is further decline coming in due course let's say at most in three or four days tra trading days it's going to come back and retest this level i'm probably wrong if it manages to go and sit above this level it will indicate it's going for the for the top and perhaps this is indeed the impulse wave now here's an interesting chart this is the chart of silver priced in japanese yen that's the daily and i put for you all the labelings and i hope that it uh, they speak for themselves yes that's ua and you can see the uh, triangle right in the middle and you can clearly see the structure of an abc here which gave us the b and you can see how it came down neatly and that can't be the entire c it just doesn't make sense that that's not the entire c i don't think so so i think we have more work we have more work it's going to come down it's going to take it's going to take time to 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 draw for us all these legs before it's ready to resume the um, the uptrend now just as we feel like we are getting uh used to this idea that uh, the precious metals will continue to go sideways suddenly we got this uh chart here of the gold and silver index and uh, this is shaking us completely because it's telling us hey you better get ready because it is ready to run now okay uh we have worked to, uh, up to now with this being one two three and look what a perfect abcd structure okay that that is right there I, I don't have to do anything it's right there you can see and proportionately it makes sense when you relate it to the second wave so this chart says no the precious metals are ready to run and once they run in the index here above 157.36 i will have to accept that that's it that's the end of the fourth wave and they are now running up in the fifth i really want to show you the 60 minute scale and look what's going on here we were here and i told you this is not finished it's going to go lower it's and that's why i put these two lines you remember uh, and it did it did uh, swing down quite sharply so the next few days are going to be critical for the precious metal uh, metals they uh, they will tell us the index here will definitely tell us clearly if it manages to go above this line that's it the correction is behind us muddling through here continue to deliver abcs will have only one effect um, that's going to delay that's going to extend the fourth wave now this is uh, the chart of the us dollar canadian dollar versus silver and it's very interesting what's going on here for those who haven't studied this before uh, it is uh, something that you should do from time to time and uh it'll help you to get more and more insights as to the interaction between the forex market to the commodities themselves and obviously the canadian dollar is a uh, is a commodities uh, currency yes um, we have several such uh, currencies 
and uh, you can see when the silver took off like a rocket what happened to the US dollar Canadian dollar and um, we have examined the US dollar Canadian dollar uh, before in this video if you missed it go back and watch that explanation it's really important we had uh, seen the break of this huge support line here of the US dollar Canadian dollar and uh, you check that chart you will see uh, and that is telling me together with extremely strong performance here from Silva this is a major change in trend major major change in trend and uh, so that's why I think that that is likely the failure top of the US dollar Canadian dollar that gives me the confidence to project a long-term top in the US dollar Canadian dollar okay so you can see for yourself the inverse correlation very powerful very powerful going down shooting up yes you got it on several occasions here um, so that's something you might want to add to your arsenal as you're trying to see how uh, and which way uh, the precious metals are going to go okay that's the chart of the SLV and also here the case of uh, elongated uh, triangle is looking good is looking good because we have this as an ABC that's an our A that's our B we had an ABC that's an X ABC done and we came down and I think that there is a case for taking the decline here as a five wave run in the case of uh, the SLV it is possible and I would imagine there is going to be a bounce now but I think it's not going to have long life it's going to probably run towards 26 you know I'm wrong if it manages of course to run above the previous high registered here 2697 but I suspect that it's going to run out of steam and it's going to eventually come down and we're going to have the extension of the uh, triangle look it's going to run there and it's going to come back and it's probably going to take the stops from here I do not for forecast at this point a slide like that but I will not be surprised at all, at all if it does deep to 23.50-23 okay that won't surprise me uh, because it's going to give you a move that will play a match to what you have here so spend um, a few days here maybe a week not doing much and then further decline to complete the C and then the D and the E do you see uh, let me go to the 60 minutes and I'll show you quickly you see I think that we had a 1-2 and then I go all the way down here and I have my 3-4 it's obviously full of uh, uh, problems here, if you like uh, but uh, you can net out the noise net out the noise is something that I often do uh, with um, you know with a line style uh, chart you just net out the noise in this way uh, that gives me my 5 wave run and I think now we could be um, on our way to some, some sort of rebound but as I said it's going to have short lease of life it, uh, some details about my service currently at 50% off for first time users you need to go on uh, my website the home page is right here it's uh, wave mastery www at wave mastery.com yeah point uh, wave mastery in one word dot com that takes you to the home page you can uh, scroll down look through some things that I've written here some recommendations from past users and current users and that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers okay so there is the daily service uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial so you can take the trial for uh, one week and at the end of that if you're happy you do nothing you go on to the plan of um, half price essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price and that will be good for one year that means uh, 12 um, payments of 79 uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos then you go for this one and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week 
of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered etc etc if you like what you read you click here subscribe it takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because of my uh, paying system is through PayPal and um, you pay through PayPal you can see you have the trial at 9.99 that's uh, for the first seven days as I said if you like what you see do nothing it just it just goes automatically if you don't like you can cancel or if you don't know how to cancel or you have any doubt you have any question you can write to me of course uh, once you go through and you pay you come back uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details uh, choose your login and uh, once you do that you will be led uh, automatically to the page with uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date if at any point in time in this process you have a problem things are not going uh, as I'm describing to you right now all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out um, that is essentially it so um, you'll have one week to look at things I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts, why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to, to see um, how to relate to my website. But there is no substitute in my opinion to actually take a trial. You know, you take a trial, and I want to say another thing. You take a trial, and you can't make up your mind. You want more time to think. Fine, I understand that. Then you cancel, but then you are not allowed to take another trial. Please, I want to be very clear about that. There are people who abuse this, and it's really um, not right. Uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial, okay? A trial is a trial. But if you're interested, after you take a trial, you're interested to come back, you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year but you have to write to me and then I will send you a special link without a trial and, and, and if you join then you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months okay uh, if you take another trial after you took already one I am going to have to cancel that and refund you and if you do that two or three times, I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here. Uh, use subscription. Once you, are, uh, once you are logged in, you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah, it will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access the daily service videos to be very clear they cover the weekend service videos okay so you don't have to subscribe to both the daily covers everything I do the weekend of course is more selective now I have here resources there are chart galleries right here uh, chart one two three there are plenty plenty of chart uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here there I covered a lot a lot of markets and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through let's see platinum for example yes that's 1973 to 1978 if you click right on top where it shows you the hand the chart opens up big you can print it if you like um, here's an example of platinum April um, uh, 1980 uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, there is plenty for you, whichever market you're interested. Uh, interested in the financials, uh, commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, then useful links, as it as the name implies. Yes, recommended reading list. You have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years. That I found very interesting 
Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one. But the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning. And still, uh, the information here is very valuable in these books. For example, Kroll. I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Kroll. Stanley Kroll was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote, um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general. I learned a lot from, uh, from these books. And of course, uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, you should uh, get this book and read it. Uh, you will not regret uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders, I think, uh, have come across and read. It is very, very interesting. And uh, as you go down the list, you will see if there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead, get them. Some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF. Uh, check that. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can even uh, contact me. Here's the contact us and you uh, put your name, please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, simple maths, submit, I get it, you'll hear from me. I'm based in Belgium, so if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my arrest, do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within, uh, within a day you will have a reply from me, I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week. Bye now.